funniest shit ever. If you got to yeah. stay with somebody because of temperature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I can't wait for the fall. Can't wait for the fall to leave this bitch. So were well, y'all really cool. Y'all were cool the whole time. So you because here's something that I, I, I just realized is that, you know, I, I've been doing I do the one on one consultations. And a lot of times people don't think of like we're so much we're so more. um aware of mental illness now like there's a old waking waking of that so a lot of times when you think it's just like disagreements and you know hormones and disagreements and stuff like that it's it sometimes it's mental illness mm -hmm. so I, I, had a, I had a dude who called me he called me up in one of the one-on-one -on -one and his 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 uh his wife was bipolar and i'm like you know they newly married and i'm mm -hmm. like you know, he's like, oh, no, no, he was going to get married. And I I was like, dog, I, I get no game in the world. I'll fix this. Yeah, yeah it's not going to get fixed. So, you know, you you have to, you know, it's funny because it, that made me think, too, because you said y'all were both broke together and y'all were both. You can't even she had to, she didn't like your roommates either. You know, what I mean? So it's, <laughs> <laughs> but 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 like knowing that somebody's because a lot of, you know, Harry says this all the time that, you know, you, you meet the person and then you go, OK, they changed mm -hmm. when when what you met wasn't them in the first place. When they changed, you think they're in they're a phase. Changed. Sometimes you think yeah, they're, they're in a phase and they'll go back. But what you don't realize is the person you met, that was the phase. That was and the awful person you're with now. That's who they actually are. Right. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting thing. And so now to consider you got I said, you got to make the decision about what you're going to do in that relationship in the moment, you know, based like like you buy a house appraised by what it's appraised at the moment when you buy it. You mm -hmm. don't buy it what it was appraised to 10 years ago and you don't buy it what what the potential could be. And so you got to realize. So you're, that's how you have to do relationships. Somebody, yeah, I mean, yeah, especially a marriage, especially a marriage, because you're going, I got to be with this person. This is, I, it's not going to get better than this. Mm -hmm. Like, I got to be OK with the fact <clears throat> that I'm dealing with this bipolar shit for the rest of my life. And, right, and you have to make sure they're going to take their pills to be a reality. Yeah. Like the big thing is sometimes yeah. they just fall off their medications and then they yeah. refuse to get yeah. back on because they think they're good. And it's like, you're somebody else. I didn't marry the non-medication person. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Can I hit yeah. you with a story? I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, no, that's what this Can is. I hit you with a story? Uh, Greg, Greg, this is yeah. neither the time nor the place. <laughs> I worked <laughs> in, an, in an ER for a while before I did comedy. Mm. One of my first experiences with, I'll just tell you, and you'll, you'll hear what happens. Beautiful woman. She must have been 29, 30 years old, Hispanic, business suit, hit, smoking hot. Comes in. We bring her into the ER. And I'm like, you know, I used to do patient satisfaction. So I was talking to her and I'm like, well, what's going on? And she was like, my husband is trying to kill me. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. You got to get me safe. You got to call the police. And we're like, we're not going to let him in. We're going to take care of this. Like, don't worry. Right. You stay here. Whatever. We're doing what we got to do. Uh, here, banging on the door. There's the husband. I meet the husband and he goes, hey, man, my wife is here. I got to see her, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, man, I can't take you in to see her. But and he goes, no, man, I'm, she's saying I'm trying to kill her. I'm not trying to kill her. All this shit. I don't know what to do. I keep them in separate rooms. I go back in and talk to her and I go, so what is going on? Why don't you tell me about what's going on? And she goes, last night when I was sleeping, he was taking little, there was little robots he was building and putting them in my ear and the robots were in my ear. And now I feel them. And I went, what the fuck are you talking about? I go, <laughs> oh, Jesus. I tell the head doctor, I go, she's talking about robots in the ear. And then I goes, schizophrenia. This is the age. So this guy, she was, she, it was a family history. She has family history of it too. That's when it like comes out, which I didn't know, which is like around that age. Yeah. At around he what married, age again? I think it's like around 30-ish. I think that's about really? how old she And was. when did he marry her? A few years earlier. I'm not oh, really sure. Fuck, I don't know man. the exact, but wow. he married this beautiful, smart woman who then had her first schizophrenic snapped. snapped. Snapped, and then she had to get a psych eval. And you know, she'll be on medication. That Who knows what that medication will do? Lithium sometimes will fucking make you crazy but like imagine Change that shit happened to you yeah yeah imagine yeah. you the woman you love who seems to me i thought schizophrenics looked like homeless people before that moment yeah, yeah. i didn't know they were like business suit just young functioning people functioning people that this just happens to 
And it was like, dude, now this guy is like, we had to, they had to have a talk with this guy. She, the, she had to go to Patterson, which was like the big hospital in the, where, where I'm from. It was like this whole yeah. fucking thing. But that was like, hit me in the, I was like, Jesus, imagine now then. Yeah. Not to sound like fucked up, but it's like, definitely yeah, you didn't but, sign on for that, but it's going to be yeah, rough But now. here's the crazy thing. Can you imagine you didn't sign on for that and you have to deal with that? Mm -hmm. And then there's guys who are going into a situation knowing that somebody is bipolar or somebody has or somebody's compulsive disorders. And you're taking that on knowing that it's in there like this. It's bad enough if you don't if you get this beautiful, intelligent woman and then it fucks up. Right. And then you now you got you're stuck with it. But there's dudes who are com going into that knowing. Right. And not even thinking about the the magnitude of patience and time that you got to put through to to, to to deal with that. I should I, we should also take note that imagine being the woman also that all of a sudden you have schizophrenia. That is also a horrible yeah. situation. I should say, man, sorry for the lady too, but it's like, ah, oh man, that right, poor right. guy has to deal with that woman. It's like, oh yeah, her well, too. As well. I mean, let's but, be I mean, honest. Let's be honest. She's about. she's in the moment of it. Right. So it, she's there's a not a, if there was an awareness of it, then there wouldn't be schizophrenia. You know, there's right, a right, certain right. lack of awareness. But can you imagine you your life right. is this and then you're presented with this, you know, people. I mean, or, or and it could be vice versa. It could be a dude who, right. who snaps Anything, yeah. and you could. But I mean, you you go. It's amazing to me how people will be in these bad situations, in bad relationships, and then still walk right to the altar and get married as if somehow that's going to make it better. Right. You know, um, or like a kid. Well, they'll have a kid to lock it in. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah they'll yeah, use yeah. the marriage as a yeah, kid man, to go. Well, that'll fix it. Decisions always help. Yeah. Always. Do the wrong and, thing. And that is the 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 prelude to Andre's new podcast, Slop Scary. <laughs> Check him out. That's right. For more wisdom, for more helpful question mark wisdom, go to Slash Theory. Some more different so, wisdom. When in, when in doubt, kick something over. That's another one of Andre's, I think. <laughs> right? Bro, tell me the truth though. That's not great advice, but it's fucking fun. You're going to have an That's eventful true. time. That's Things true. are going to start changing and kicking into gear for it you. It ain't going to be boring. Start flipping chairs over yeah. and shit. It ain't going to be boring. That's for sure. Yeah. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.